Hello and touch the lead to everyone and welcome back learning basic reading Tibetan language. So today what we going to do is reading practice. The reading practice is very important because we need to improve a lot. So we need to improve as much as we can by reading as much as we can. So what we are going to read is Heart Sutra because Heart Sutra is very good because Buddha taught 84,000 of volume of teachings and then everything that summarized into a Heart Sutra. So that's why it's called Heart Sutra. It's like very essence, essence of Buddha teachings. So therefore it's really good because if we can just recite, it will be a lot of, you know, a lot of there is like, a, you can feel it, but I can tell you that, oh, there has a blessing, a, a blessing it doesn't something introduce you or something like, oh, here you go, take it. No, the blessing, everything has to be experienced by oneself, how you feel it. When you read, there is some kind of energy is going through whatever is but i can tell you everyone has a different way of observing feeling receiving all the kind of blessing so uh, there is no no certain way of oh here this is a blessing now you are feeling it there is no way so what i was thinking is just it's good to do a uh, reading practice is hasutra so that's why is now on we going to do a uh, some time you know reading practice and not too much reading the few of you know sentences so this will help us to more improve our reading practice okay and i put a part one so we're going to read the part one Asutra. here you go so in tibetan call is sherap nyingbe bo in English, Hat Sutra. Okay. So, so Sutra is a bow in Tibetan. The heart is here is a Ningbo. Ningbo. So, Sherap is not here. But I wanted to just explain to you guys why i put here is color like you might be wondering like every time you put a color what that mean is i just want to put a color because you know how to break the word together like share up the share up has to be read together share up is a one word and nyingbe. so one word and the do is one word because sometimes people don't know how to read, you know, like a, the word together. They don't know how to put together. Then read like that. She, rap, ning. And then it's like, what is the meaning of the rap, ning? And then, po, do. Po, do. It's like, because we have to know the, how to break the word. So that way we can improve. Even if you read the books, you will know the, oh that is what it means yeah, because that's why we need the reading practice reading practice so that's why i put the color is the share up is one word ningpe is one word to so that way we don't read like a she and a rap ning like you want to ask somebody like rap ning what that meaning is i don't know what the uh, rap ning what is that i don't know but if you tell a like, share up oh i know what that you mean? Share up is like that, like that, like this. And then Ningbo. So that is how I put the color to break down. This is not the meaning. That is not just like, just to break down the word to separate. Okay. Let's practice here. She, Sha, Dingbo, She, Sa, She, 
rapa rap sherap sa nyata nya kigu nyinga nying panaro po a kigu yi pe so when there is a a kigu yi you have to pronounce like a no po if you pronounce a po mean it's you are leaving this sound so you have to bring together this a kigu yi pronounce as a pe nying pe nying pe some people my people think like, oh, why don't you po yi cannot be because if you put a ying po yi mean it has to be separate because this is one sound it then become la pe ying pe mao da na ru do sherap ying pe do sherap ying pe do Okay, how excited. We're going to practice the Heart Sutra. Here you go. Now you can see a lot of color, right? Here you see each color is has this are the the word come, has to come together. It cannot be separate. If we it's these are the word but word has to read together. So that's why I put every this is a one word, this is the one word, this is a one word. If I don't put, sometimes we, when we are just beginner, we are confused. Like we confuse a lot how to read the word and like together because we don't know the word. That's why it's, I know that when I was studying first time, like I have no idea, sometimes I read wrong. Like for example, here, instead of like this together, I read like this, this together, like a samje, or then like oh, am I this correct? It's because I don't know, so that's why we need more practice. And then it's like we read together samje, and then it's like we read together like me she, <laughs> like me she, but it has to be like je me. And it has to be like a, this one, a share up, go together here. Then what we read is me share, like oh, totally we read wrong. So that's why we need to reading practice, okay? Let's start reading practice. Sa mata ma rata mra. Mra. Sa mata ma rata mra. Pau. Sa ma sam, ma sam, ma sam, pao ra jata jana ro jo ta je, ma deng bo me ta me je me, sha deng bo she sa she, ra pa ra. Sherap Pa Ra Na Ru Ro La Ro Pa Ro Pa Ya Da Cha Ki Gu Chi Na Chin Ma Sam Je Me Sherap Pa Ro Chin Ma Sam Jeme Sherap Parul Chin Ma Sa Kata Kayata Kya Dengbo Ke Sa Ke Ma Ke Ma Kigu Mi Ao Ga Ka Sa Gak Mi Gak Na ma nam mau ka a kigu yi ke nam ke nam ke na naru ngo wa naru wo ngo wo ngo wo nya kigu ni ta ni Ma ke, 
migak namke ngo ngi sa naro so sa naro so 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 ranga rang ra ki gu ri ka rik rang rik ya deng bo ye sha deng bo she sa she ye she sa pa ta pa ya ta cha na ro cho ta che ya sha chu yu la yul wa che yul wa so so rangrik ye she che yul wa da shab ju du sa du kau sa shab ju su ma sum du sum ra ga ta ga e ta ya la gal wa a ki gu yi we gal we ya shab ju yu ma yum la yum la pa ya ta cha ka chak au cha la chal chak chal la na ru lo du sum gal we yum la chak chal lo ma sam je me she rap parul chin ma ke mi gak nam ke ngo ni so so rang rik ye she che yul wa du sum gal we yum la chak chal lo ma sam je me she ra parul chin ma ke mi gak nam ke ngo ni so so rang rik ye she che yul wa du sum gal we yum la chak cha lo ma sam je me she ra parul chin ma ke mi ga nam ke ngo ni so so rang rik ye she che yul wa so this is how we practice now in order to improve like that you know reading practice so we have to read like one by one as much as you can do even if you know how to read like keep practicing keep reading. A repetition is one of the best so that way we can read like whole thing like a very fast so that's why we need to just keep reading okay okay so this is our first part of reading practice and this is really good because we the heart sutra is not too long it's like very not too long text it's very short so we can read every time like a little bit and then you can recite by yourself you know you can read the heart sutra and you sit down somewhere and you read and it's really like a it's a, the heart sutra is something like a very special teaching of buddha if you are really are trying to learn about the buddhist texts then you this is the kind of like a, you can read every day so when you read the heart sutra with the silent just kind of sit meditation and read there is sort of kind of energy that you can feel it okay okay so today is this march and then next time not all the time but sometime we will come i will you know bring some 
reading practice like that. Okay, see you. You can see a link below this video and click on link and download PDF file. Enjoy learning basic reading Tibetan language. Chema Jalyong. See you later. Bye for now.